Hey Bolt Hunters, Stud Doogie here and I'm back with my first Mayhem uh, 2.0 video. In this video we're going to be going to the slaughter shaft and we are going to debunk some myths because the peoples have lost their minds once again. So every time something new comes out, people lose their shit and say stupid shit and then, you know, I find myself in a position having to debunk a lot of crap. So, uh... This time, it's that Mayhem 10 is impossible, and you, if you don't use the new meta guns like the the uh, the new assault rifle or the yellow cake or any of the new guns, um, the Sandhawk, or if you're not using any of that stuff, you can't do jack shit in Mayhem 10, and the enemies can't be killed because they're too bullet spongy, and blah 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 blah. So we're gonna do the slaughter shaft, which is. Well, maybe the the second hardest content in the game behind the raid, and we're not going to use any of that crap. We're going to be using Mayhem 10 guns, of course, but it's going to be, we're going to kick it old school. So, um, I, I have an announcement to make. Um, it's a very sad moment for me. I've retired my Maggie. Because uh, the Maggie is, it's it's viable in Mayhem 10, it just takes a lot more bullets, so I've switched to the Duke or the Duck, let's call it the Duck, to, to mess with people. And we're not even using any of the new Mayhem um, anointments, or Mayhem 2.0 anointments, we're using good old fashioned Sentinel Cryer, because that still kicks ass. So we're going to be using the Duck, and we're going to be using Unforgiven. Now this is a setup I've done before, and it was overkill in the original Mayhem 4, but it's just right for Mayhem 10. As you know, I love me some Zaitsev's Eruption, so that's going to be a thing. We're going to be using a Transformer. Now, keep in mind, this is Mayhem 10. This is the end game, end game. So you do want to bring your best, and I'm bringing in uh, a godly um, Seeing Dead come here with Weapon Damage, Pistol Damage, and Jacob's Crit. Two points in uh, Playing Dirty and three points in Donnybrook. We're kicking it with our piss because the piss still kicks ass and takes names. We're going to be using an icebreaker, uh, icebreaker victory rush with cryo damage and cryo efficiency because of the the duck and the sentinel cryo anointment. We also have um, a cut press launch pad in case we run out of bullets. You know, depending on the amount of anointed that we get, uh, which soak up a lot of bullets, bullets, which I do not have a problem with. I do not have a problem with tanky enemies at all it makes the game more challenging because it means you can be overwhelmed more easily so you have to pick your fights you know you just don't face tank everything y'all you just got to play smarter okay so let's go over the build because now we're at level 57 instead of uh, i think my last video was at 53 so five points in violent momentum, three points in violent speed, just for the movement speed because of the shooting pattern of the duck we're not going to be doing a lot of uh like speed running with it and trying to sh land shots with the duck um, so we're just going to be using this so we can move quickly but we're primarily going to be planting and shooting as far as shooting goes we're putting four points in cool hand uh, two points in salvation because the duck deals a lot of damage so um, and of course we're using playing dirty so the fact that we're going to double up our pellets means that we're going to get a lot of healings without a lot of points in salvation one point in drone delivery, of course, so we can drop our piss. Uh, death follows close always for the skill kill skill bonus in duration. We do not need points in violent violence with the duck because it is a fan the trigger Jacob's pistol. Now, not all Jacob pistols are fan the trigger, but what that means is when the gun is fan the trigger, as fast as you can press the keys, that's how fast it will shoot. So any additional points in violent violence will do us no good because it's fast enough as is. One point in mis good misfortune so we can keep our action skills going if we can't get a reset. Um, in the double agent tree, synchronicity and Donnybrook, because these are going to be big chunks for damage as these two are here. And two points in borrowed time so we have plenty of time to get our action skill resets. This is a calm, cool, collected build. So, you know, just the stuff to get me down to calm, cool, collected. Always all-rounder and you guys know how I feel about different turns fields because it keeps melee enemies out of our barrier. Um, I went with Winner's Drone uh, because of the uh, the armored enemies, you know, just so that we can do a little bit more damage to those guys. Uh, I skipped Bad Dose because we don't need the movement speed and the damages and all that great. 
but I have put it in static field just to help keep our shields maxed out. It doesn't really, it, these two don't really matter to be 100% honest with you. Um, they're not going to make a big difference in, in anything, but whatever. A little bit more shields uptime, a little bit more damage against armored enemies, and that's what that's is there for. Now, the duck, of course, is a four round gun, so uh, magazine size is important, so we get six in a clip. And uh, yeah, so the basic play loop is as follows we're going to uh, empty a clip into the head of an, en of an enemy, and which should proc brain freeze. And then we're going to reload, and then we're going to empty, an empty another clip in their head. And then we're going to swap to the Unforgiven. So here's the thing. Because of the Icebreaker um, artifact, the second clip is going to be doing 40% more damage, which is going to amplify the effect of the crit swapping when we get to the Unforgiven. So that's basically the play loop. We freeze, we reload, we, f uh, we fire again, we swap to the Unforgiven to do more damage. And that's how we're going to be able to take out these Mayhem 10 enemies with ridiculous amounts of health. Now for the modifiers, uh, this looks like crap right now. Let me see. I'm going to make it look different. It's going to look like crap nonetheless, but at least you'll be able to see uh, uh, see the whole thing. Okay, there we go. There we go. So I'm, I've chosen these modifiers primarily for you guys. So the two we want is Galaxy Brain and Critical and Holy Crit. Caddis, Galaxy Brain, of course, is their head is huge, which means you basically can't miss the crit. Uh, this whole build is based upon um, landing those headshots and procking the crits because Zane has a lot of base damage. Um, gun damage, which, are, which is basically base damage, it's just additive. So crit is multiplicative. And this just makes it easy to do. And this is for you guys more than anything else because a lot of people complain, or well, not a lot, some people complain that you know, I, I'm good at shooting, but I'm really not that good. But if you're not good at shooting, this solves the problem for you. Easy, easy crits. And um, you get the additional 25% bonus. As long as you're landing crits, you're going to be okay. So the other reason I did I don't have um, bad doses because of this, some things are going to be immune to radiation, so it's not going to dose it again. All right. So let's set this back so I can actually play because it's too tiny for me. And um, yeah, so this is a non-meta, non-whatever. And um, we're going to do some Mayhem 10. Now, I've turned off the cartel event just so we can get through this in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, the cartel event makes it take longer, which I don't have a problem with, but I don't want a two-hour video. So here we go. So check it out. We freeze them. We shoot them again, we swap, they get destroyed. Let's get the badass here. We freeze them, we shoot them again, we swap, they get destroyed. Here we go, freeze them, swap, they get destroyed. And this is Mayhem 10, y'all. So people talking shit that Mayhem 10 is impossible, you have to use meta weapons and blah, blah, blah. You don't. If you know how to play smart and put together a decent build, you can make this work. Now this is a Mayhem 10 duck. I farmed uh, like a like a beast last week when it was on when the loot the world event was on Pandora to get the one that I wanted, which was the Sentinel Cryo. Uh, Sentinel Cryo is still boss, especially because of the armored enemies. And um, yeah, so we're not having any trouble so far. But this again is round one, so. Round one is never really a problem. And look at that. You can just get these headshots so easily now. So this is for y'all, you know. If you think you're going to have a problem, you're not. If you use Galaxy Brain, you're not going to have a problem. Galaxy Brain and Holy Crit is the god tier for mobbing. Because you just can't miss the headshot. Swap. And he's done. So the crit from... Um, holy crit and the crit from what? Wait, that. What is he doing? Can't get away from me. And the crit from uh, crit swapping just means that you just got a ton of crit. Zane has a ton of base damage, just normal gun damage that the crit just feeds off of it. You know. And 
and that's how it's easy it is now um, the best part about this is when you get to fight Goliaths because you can actually consistently crit them because their little heads are all big swap that blow them up let's blow him up I thought all of those landed it did not those did we're good to go get down here oh let's go get this guy where is he where's the goon goons are target we're gonna freeze this guy just to keep him busy while we work on the goon all right goons done this guy is done yep and just like that mayhem 10 with ridiculous amounts of health and we're not having any trouble at all in the slaughter shaft because we're playing smart we're not using anything meta we're just playing like we have a brain in our head and we're not going to whine like bitches about oh it's too hard you know you know it's you still i run out of bullets which is kind of nice um because when i'm playing with the cartels the bosses or the mini bosses are they take freaking insane amount of health which i don't have a problem with like i said i actually like the challenge of it and they just keep spawning and spawning and it's just you feel like you're being overrun which is just kind of cool you know, because I like things challenging, which is why I took a break um, before Mayhem 2.0 came out because I was bored. You know, all this was like easy mode. So it's not easy mode anymore, even though I'm making it look easy. But I've chosen the big head one just to show you guys that you can play this and do well. You know, the modifiers get instead of working against you, because this is a hard, a very hard modifier, but it's actually working in our best interest instead of against us right because you can't miss the crit <laughs> let's blow that up just because it doesn't do anything but I like doing it boom now if I had the mayhem 10 version of the unforgiven I would use it to finish them off but at level 50 it just it just tickles them it doesn't do shit hello I'm trying to sell or buy some ammo so round of one is done wasn't any problem at all with that one and we're not going to have any problems even though even the uh, the anointed I hope I get a couple anointed so I could show you guys that it's just a non-issue wait I thought I froze you his head is so big that you can just hit him from there why isn't my thing spawning here we go what happened to my reset? All right, we'll freeze him. Just drop that, just so we can do a little bit more damage. Swap that out. He's done. Reload. He's done. How the hell did she get in my barrier? Let's swap that out. She's done. Let's pick that up. We'll reset right here. I mean, you know, with with their heads that big, it's just amazing and you see that I froze three people just by shooting one because of the ricochet from the um, from the stickies let's collect that okay that should finish him off nope not quite that wasn't a full clip yeah you're done yeah if you get a full clip you're good like that's a full clip so he's done We're going to ignore all the turrets because we can't crit them. So we're going to be wasting bullets trying to kill those. So we're going to ignore the turrets and just let them reset on their own. Create some space. Get that guy, pop that, because why not? Yeah, you froze in mid-air, you're done. Swap that out. Alright, let's get these guys. Alright, let's get this guy. You can shoot him from the back now. He's a pain in the ass to shoot from the back because of his hitbox. But with big head, not a problem. She's done. Who's left up here? It's, what? You're not dead? I can't see shit. Jump shot, headshot, baby. I still got it. The doogie still has it. 
Okay, we're gonna reload, dump it in him, swap it out. Like, not enough. If he doesn't die, no, you're not going up there to set that up. If he doesn't die, you know that you didn't get a full clip in. Who's left? You're here. Who the hell is left? You. Wait for my stuff to come back. Here we go. We're good. Not me to kingdom come. Okay. Swap that out. And she's done. These guys you don't even need to swap because they're so weak. Yeah, you're done. All right, let's do one more clip. Swap it out. Didn't quite get all of the shots in. Let's pop his thing. He's done. Put this down just because it's not strictly necessary. Oh, yeah, yep, let's not get caught. Now you can see his, his giant head. Even him. Look at this. Easy, easy kill. But his shoulder pads in the way. And uh, he moved. Got him this time, though. Swap it out. He's done. Who's that behind me? And you're done. We'll put that there. You weren't supposed to be in it. Uh, one more clip. Swap it out. She's done. He's back. She's done. Yeah, once you get a full clip in, it's a wrap. He's dead. I missed all of those. Oh my god, the shame. Yo, get the goon. Swap it out. Goon is done. Swap. Not, don't even need to swap that one out. As you can see, I'm taking damage, and you know, with two in salvation, the amount of damage I'm dealing out means I don't need more than two to get fully healed. Yep, he's done. Yeah, that's how you know. Look at that giant head. You cannot possibly miss. No, 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 no. Get him, get him, get him. Got him. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Swap it out. We got to stop him from getting those things built because, like I said, we can't crit him. So they pose a problem. I mean, uh, you also have to watch out for that because you can get blown up by the stickies that ricochet off an enemy. Got it reset. She's done. So that is something to be aware of. The stickies that ricochet off of them can kill you. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. You're done. Look at this guy. I got frozen. And I didn't actually shoot him. It was all ricochets that froze him. One more clip. You know, I don't even have to swap for this guy. Look at that. Another person. Ricochets got his ass. What do we got? What do we got? We got. You're done. Who's behind us? Oh, you're so done. Let's swap him out. Just make it nice and clean was that enough to kill nope some of those got caught on the railing and she's done round two done so this is mayhem 10 y'all remember this is supposed to be impossible blah 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 nonsense being spoken now again this is kind of uber easy because we do have big head mode but 
Um, you know, for those that don't have great aim, not everybody has good aim. And plus, aiming in this game can be kind of hard. Because it is a chaotic shooter, not a precision shooter. And so you got all this stuff going on on screen where you can't see clearly. But with big head mode, that's a non-issue. You don't even have to see clearly. You just need to have a general sense of where the head is and you're good. Just see if we can't get this jack off. Yeah, he's done. I didn't even have to switch on that one. I don't even know why he switched. Okay, let's fill him up. Swap him out. He's dead. Swap him out. He's dead. Who's left? Let's get this guy. Yeah, he's dead. Look at that. Another freezing from ricochets. Let's go get somebody else easy. While he transforms. And do get some aggro for us. Almost had him with one clip. Not quite. But he's dead now though. You're dead. You're done. See? I could have been kept busy on our behalf. Swap him out. What? Big head mode. I love it. I can see you clearly. Swap him out. And he's done. So it's not hard at all, y'all. Um, but if you want a real challenge, uh, turn on uh, the cartels because the cartel bosses and mini bosses are some real um, bullet sponges. And um, there's so many of them that spawn on top of the enemies that are in the game already. And so I have a real good time with the cartel event um, in Slaughter Shaft because it is so demanding and then you get Billy. Billy is the hardest mil um, anointed to get. So far we haven't got any anointed so I haven't shown off how effective this is with badasses with anointed. Put another clip in him. Oh we have one finally. He's not quite dead and let's finish him off from here. Swap it out. They should finish him. He's done. Alright let's get this guy and then we'll get uh, the anointed so you guys can see that they're not a real threat. Well, yeah, they're not a real threat. Here we go. Let's get... Where is he? Okay. Put that... Oh, no, we don't want to put that down now because this thing is... Wait till this explodes, then we can put it down. Oh. Let's kill her. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, I hate this asshole. What the hell? Okay, let's kill this douchebag. Same rules apply. And it's over. Hurry up. Let's get a reset. We're going to get it. I have faith. Got him. He's done. He's done. She's done. Swap it out. And it's over. Just like that. Uh, where the hell are they? Here we go. Swap that one out. Nicely done, Doogie. Put one more clip in them. Swap it. And that brings an end to this dude. Pick that up. Just get it out of our way. You don't want to be standing too close to them when they pop because the explosives from the stickies can kill you. You know, maybe if, if uh, I had a scene dead with splash damage, 
because that would probably be more powerful instead of weapon damage you get splash damage I don't know if that rolls with that for this thing it would actually be even better for this particular gun uh, because pistol damage is multiplicative crit is multiplicative but weapon damage is additive so if we had splash damage then we would have three multiplicative bonuses instead of two which would eke out a little bit more um, you know damage so now if this wasn't big head mode this is how we would play it we just get right up on them because then you don't have to worry um, about missing because you're right up on them but you have to make sure you back up before the stickies go off because if you're right up on them when the sticky goes off uh, it'll take you with it but because this is big head mode you know we have a plenty of space to operate we don't have to be right up on them that wasn't enough okay fine Let's pop that what pop thank you uh, pop what here we go and then let's get our reset let's swap it out look at that. we took all that damage and no problem and he's done swap it out it's over reload do it again swap it out it's over these are badasses um, well this is a badass but like we just don't care uh, where the hell is that coming, guys? Da -da -da. I'll put another clip in him, swap it out. That should be enough to finish him off. Wow, missed my crits. Don't run, just take it. Swap it out, you're done. Uh, we do not have ammo. I think we have enough ammo to finish. The, uh, the round. Let's just put that down. Since we're all set up here, might as well take advantage of it. You're done. And you weren't even frozen. That's how good this is. Swap it out. Done. Oh, let's pick that up. Drop it here. Oh, you're so done. What the hell? get it let's see if we got him we got him get this one bump this guy so he drops his shield but no problem we get the guy on his back swap it out and we're good to go I don't know how he died there I think it may have been a grenade what the hell shot me from the back All our health came back with that explosive. Let's get this guy. See, I notice I backed up because I didn't want to get blown up by that explosion. Reload. She thought she got away. Round three, over. Once again, this is supposed to be impossible. Because Mayhem 10 sucks and everything's a bullet sponge and you can't kill anything and wah basically what they're saying is I'm a scrub and I don't know how to play this game make it easy for me gearbox but that's not who we are we're not scrubs we make things work we work the problem we figure it out and no meta nothing You're dead. You don't even know it. I can just move on. You're dead too. I can just move on and leave you alone. What? You survived. Lucky you. I'm so impressed by your skills. You just got jump shot, headshotted, and crit swapped. <laughs> Here we go. We're going upstairs. Oh my god, I made it up. Y'all know how I struggle to climb those stairs sometimes. Huh, that those weren't headshots then. Let's try that again. Okay, this time. Got him. Swap it out. Set up over here. Get our sentinel cry out. Why are you in my barrier? I thought I had you outside. Oops. 
oopsies he's done you're done I have to finish you off I, I don't know why this asswipe keeps just stumbling his way into my barrier seriously like what the hell game the whole point of deterrence field is not to deal with these jerks I think they come from over here no 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 let's get a reset yeah, give my reset one of the things I like about the way these resets work uh, with this gun is that you can get the reset on the explosion so even if you don't get the reset on the what the initial shot uh, you get it on the explosion boom nicely done doogie I'm ignoring the guy that's shooting the um, what you call it the shock rockets because I'm wearing a transformer so all he's gonna do is heal my shields you know which I appreciate swap it out swap him out he's done got a goon let's get the goon is that a headshot I can't even tell so much going on. Swap that out. Goon is still alive. Goon should die. I uh, see we can't get um, the ricochets to. I'm trying to get the ricochets to freeze the Goliath. You're dead. What? Here we go. Alright, Goon should be dead for reals this time. Oh my god, he won't die. Okay. He's done. You missed. Scrub. Leave that guy because he's healing our shields. Get this one. Because we don't like the way he looks. Swap it out. Your turn. You know what? We'll leave you alone. Let's see who's over here first. Swap him out. He's done. Swap him out. And he's done. Uh, we're going to get some ammo. Not because we absolutely need it, but let's not mess around. So this is another one of the changes. Um, they they reduce the jump height required to do slams. So basically, cut purses are now uh, infinite ammo. Everyone has access to infinite ammo build if you've got a um, rocket launcher cut purse. We'll leave this guy because he's keeping our shields healed. And get this guy. I hate the stumble because the stumble, you don't know the direction they're going to go in when they stumble. You know? And the stumble isn't consistent. Blow you up. All right. Really? I cannot see your head, but I didn't need to because it's big head mode. Bump this guy. Really? Now watch the explosion freeze him. What? It didn't! That got you, though. He's still leaving you alive because you're keeping our shields up. Put a full clip in, swap it out. it out that should finish you not quite hmm. I guess I didn't get the whole clip in I got it that time though 
Swap it out. He's done. Swap it out. He's done. Who else is left? Who do we got? Who do we got? Who do we got? Alright, now we can finish him off. Thanks for all the support. Been a great help. Appreciate it. So much loot! You can get even more if you use the uh, the loot explosion modifier. Because we're doing all these headshots anyways. Uh, this is not good. Let's get the hell out of here. Two seconds and let's go back over here and deal with this guy. Get our Zeitsev eruption up. Get it stacked. Swap. And he's over. <laughs> this is a Mayhem 10 anointed COV enemy that everyone says is impossible to kill. It's Mayhem 10. Yada, yada, yada. Everything is impossible. And we didn't have any trouble with it. I don't know why I did that. Hold still. You're done. Who is next? You. You're so done. Get that out there. Sentinel Cryo. That wasn't even Sentinel Cryo. That's just the power of the crit swapping. See the stumble? I hate it. Because you can't predict which direction they're going to go in to do a tracking shot. Look at the size of his head. Usually it's just a pain in the ass to shoot him in the head. Now, not a problem. Really? That should freeze you. Really? How are you not frozen? Thank you. Let's go. Who the hell's behind me and inside of my freaking barrier? I Swap it out. You're done. Thank you. It's about time it stopped somebody. I feel for you. You're about to die. You giant, beautiful head. Round four. Over. Mayhem 10. It's impossible. Someone had the nerve to put up on the forums that I think the name of the post was Why Zane and describing Zane as sucking and can't do anything. And I was like, this guy's an idiot. Pretty sure it's a dude. Women are generally smarter than us. Uh, these guys, you don't even need to aim down sides because their heads are so big. How you just, I love how you just jump right through it like it wasn't even there. I almost got myself killed getting rolling up on that dude. Yeah, just like that. See, look at that. He got the freeze on that one. He's done. I'm going to have to put, I'm gonna have to put a full clip at him. You're done. Reload. Reload and then swap it out. Boom. Easy, 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 easy. Another clip. Swap it out. He's done. Yeah, forget about it. Forget about it. You can't run from me. You see, he's trying to, try to jukes me. I give two snaps about your jukes. Pop that just for shits and giggles. 
caught him in motion. Swap him out. Who else is over here? Really? You think that's going to make a difference? You're so done. Boom. Bump this guy. He's dead. Who's next? So much loot. This is a great way to get your Mayhem 10 gear once you've gotten your Duke. Uh, by the way, so Prometheus is this week's uh, spot to farm for pistols. So if you guys want to re replicate the setup and get your own duck so which you can then bring it to Slaughter Shaft and kill all the things so you can get your Mayhem 10 gear back or, you know, reform all your gear at Mayhem 10. This is a great way to do it, which is kind of what I'm doing. I've been having a lot of fun in the Slaughter Shaft. And like I said, I play it with the cartel events on because it's even harder. It's actually hard with cartel events. I mean, I... The way I'm playing it right now, it doesn't look hard at all. But that's primarily because I got big head mode on. Which means I cannot miss the crit. And if you can get the crit, you're going to be alright. So once like Mayhem 10, all the bugs and all the stuff has been ironed out. I'm going to do a Mayhem 10 playthrough. You know, from the very beginning. The whole story, all the side quests and stuff. And, you know, we're going to use probably non-meta stuff, you know. Because I like the non-meta stuff. Not that there's anything wrong with the meta. I like, I really like the Sandhawk. Um, I don't have a problem with the Sandhawk. Primarily because in Borderlands 2, uh, it was a rare gun. It was a legendary gun in a rare gun's body, right? Because it was a blue gun in Borderlands 2. And they finally, damn, this dude's got moves. Uh, they finally recognized this legendary Ness and they uh, they brought it back in Borderlands 3 as a legendary weapon. And they also made it a sniper rifle instead of a SMG. Probably because it's so powerful, they want you to have all that much ammo. Wait, why am I not able to track you? Here we go, it's better. I'm playing like a scrub. I'm just hitting everything. Cause, because of the stickies, so I can just shoot something, move on to something else, and then shoot the frozen thing, and then the stickies will jump to the other thing, which is what you're seeing. We'll just kill this guy. What's your ammo situation? Probably need some more. Swap it out, finish him off. Ah, huh, those didn't land as crits? I'm surprised. All right, let's get some ammo while we're here. Yeah, so I, I actually do want the um, the Sandhawk. I have been forming Katagawa for it. I got a corrosive one, but I want one in every element. And I'm going to use it for uh, for true Mel on takedown. Because I'm tired of the lob. Um, and I think... That's what I want to use to, to kill Wotan. Just kind of kick it old school. Old school Neil. Whoa, why aren't you freezing? Okay, let's uh, fix that problem. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. I've been farming Katagawa, trying to get um, a corrosive and a shock. I've got the corrosive now. I just need the shock. Finish him off. Whoa, that's a first. That's pretty cool. I didn't know you could do that. I've hit as much as five minutes. See, five million. Nice. Let me get another five. Was that 10? I'm about to watch that back. That kind of looked like it was 10. Get over here, drone. He's done. He's done. Really? That's surprising. 
Who do we got? Swap him out. I think all of those landed. I guess I needed two clips for him. It's all good. Get out of the danger zone here. He just rolled upon us. Swap it out. Really? Let's try that again. Swap it out. Got the freeze. Did not get the kill, though. That should do it. All right, let's get this guy. He went inside. Let's go get him inside. I don't know how that thing is getting inside of our barrier. Oh shit. Need to shoot something. Alright, we're good. We're hunting him. Swap it out, and that should finish him off. Where the hell? Yep, he's dead. Let's get a reset. So much stuff on the floor. It's messing with my frames. I need to pick up some of this crap, or I'm going to have lag issues. I'm already having lag issues. That's what happens. You don't get all the all the shots on a crit. Look at these two little midges going at it. See, this is what happens when you, you can't land crits, because even though I'm hitting it, I'm barely doing any damage. Wow, I got a reset off of that? Did not expect that. Okay. Let's get some ammo. And then finish off this round, and yeah. Will it put an end to the stupidity that is the, uh, the forums? No. But... Y'all see for yourself that Mayhem 10 is not impossible, Roo. That you can do it like a boss. And you don't even need metal weapons. You just need to understand your character and how certain interactions work and put together a nice little build. You know, using guns that you like. I like pistols in this game. It's my, they're my favorite weapons in this iteration of the game. So I used to main a Maggie, now I'm maining the duck. And it's a lot of fun for me. And it's quite effective as y'all can see for yourselves. And I'm going to use it uh, in Malawan Takedown as soon as I get my, um, whatchamacallit, my Sandhawks. So this will be my mobbing weapon. The duck will be my mobbing weapon. Same kind of setup. I won't be using big head mode for that. Nor will I be using the crit modifier because uh, it's a it's a major neuter when fighting Wotan or the Valkyries. Why does it keep hitting melee? Uh, swap it out. Come on. It's over. And just like that, we just kill the boss, Mayhem 10. We give two shits. Two shits. Swap it out. It's over. Round five. It's done. Slaughter Shaft, Mayhem 10. This is how you get it done. Non-meta build. Just using the duck because we're cool like that. So, 
once again, we got the duck. We got the unforgiven. We barely use the Zaitsev. We only use it on anointed because, you know, they're, they have a lot of health, so it's useful there. Uh, Icebreaker Victory Rush. God Roll, Seeing Dead. And that's it. So if you guys want to try this out, let me know. I'll post a save file or mail you the uh, email, well, mail you the gear, whatever. Um, so I'm back. I will be making more content going forward. Once I've done all my farming, I'm going to do a duck run through the true Malawan takedown. And um, yeah, I'll put that up as soon as I get everything in place. And I'll do a playthrough at Mayhem 10 in a couple weeks once all the bugs and the kinks and stuff has been worked out and the cartel event is over. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I uh, will catch you next time. Bye now.